Two bitches in Brighton. <laughs> <laughs> I'm keeping that in. We get off this flight, we are shivering. <laughs> My heart rate maxed out. Hi. Jumping ahead of time, as you can see, I'm now home. Before we get into this vlog, I've also just finished editing it. I think, I think it's one of my favorites. I wanted to talk about Wild. If you haven't heard of the brand, it is basically a deodorant brand. But what puts it above the rest is that you get these completely reusable outsides. You can also get them customized. And the deodorant inside is firstly interchangeable, but also just as soon as you run out, you buy these little refills. They've got a bunch of different scents. This one right now it literally just smells like you've just pulled out a fresh load of washing. I love it. But I've also got as my next ones, coconut and vanilla and fresh. Oh, I think this is the one I have in right now. Yes. Okay. Fresh cotton and sea salt. It is completely natural which I think is personally so important. I try and get everyone in my life onto natural deodorant because I feel like specifically as women, our armpits are very connected to our boobs with kind of what I'm trying to work out with my hormones right now. I am looking so deeply into every specific thing that I'm putting onto my skin. And that includes deodorant. If you're not using natural deodorant, it's time. I personally always use natural deodorant. My mum was huge on it when I was just kind of like getting to the stage of when I was starting to use deodorant. So I feel like I am a connoisseur when it comes to natural deodorant and this is some of the best I've ever tried. I have been using it for a couple of months now and don't find I smell all day. I feel like it's phenomenal bang for your buck because each refill lasts for about three months. They're also great to travel with. I will tell you that. You can get mini ones as well which are perfect for your bag. So if you did want to try out Wild, I do have a discount code for 20% off. I'll pop it on the screen here. It's just Sophie Jane. Click the link in my description box and it will take you straight on over to the website. Anyway, let's get back to the last week of London. Hiya. Hiya. I feel disgusting right now because I have worn this tracksuit approximately like four to five times on long flights and it's got a tomato stain on it. It's got a gravy stain on it. Simply not thriving because um, we arrived back in London late last night. I think we got to our Airbnb at, I don't even know, like 10, 30, 11-ish? 11. 10, 30, 11-ish. I'm also not wearing a bra because I don't have one, <laughs> but I'll get to that. Um, okay, so yesterday was a bit chaotic. So you would have seen, I ended my vlog my last Italy vlog <laughs> so nicely. We're at the airport and I was like, bye, bye Italy. It was really just a downward spiral after that. A series of unfortunate events. Okay. <laughs> we got on the first flight from Italy back to Paris. We were chill, up. chilling. Got delayed a little bit. We were like, it's fine. And then we were sitting there and we landed. Actually, no, we were still in the air <laughs> when our next plane was started to board. And we were like, Interesting. <laughs> but then the flight attendant guy walked up to someone sitting next to us being like, oh, your next flight is like soon, so come at the front of the plane. And we were like, oh, well, if that was us, then they would, uh, they would yeah. have said that to so us too. We must just be making it in time. Yes, we must be fine. You land and you have to stand in the plane for a bit. And you're just like, mm -hmm. and it's getting towards like the 8.30 PM, which is when our gate is closing. And we were like, we go to the flight attendant, do you think there's any chance we'll make our flight? And she was like, oh, like you, you're in the next terminal. So I think, I think you might. She was like, it was 8.30 and our gate closed at 8.35. Yes. And she was like, let me get up like the map. Mm. Pulls up the map. And she was like, it's a 20 minute walk if you're slow. And we were like, interesting. <laughs> so we got 20 minutes. But she was like, I think you can make it. She was like, no, I think you'll be fine. So we get off this flight. We are shivering. <laughs> My heart rate. Maxed out. <laughs> Maxed With out. like heavy tote bags too. Like laptop. Slappy. <laughs> it was comical. It was, it was honestly comical. And then we get to the passport control kind of thing. Yeah. And a huge line. 15 minute line actually. Yeah. We were like, oh, we've missed it. Anyway, the guy behind us <laughs> was like, oh, you guys going to London Heathrow? We were like, yeah. And he was like, I think the flight's left. And then like five minutes later, he's like, no, it's been delayed. And we were like, so it was like, oh, we'd miss it. We have hope. We get through pass passport control. Sprinting again. We get to the gates. Our gate, the very last one. Yep. It was like 49. We were 31. Oh. So we couldn't even see the no. number 31 written. We just knew it was at the end. Yeah. So we were like, cool. Sprinting. <laughs> Running past you. Sorry. 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 I'm so sorry. We get to the gate. It's completely empty, but there's three flight attendants. We're like, Hi. The guy also was there and he was like, can you please just get us on the flight? They were like, just like, let us sort it out. The guy was not keen on standing back. He was he like, was tell me yeah, now what's not going on. And we were like, I'm just standing back in the unproblematic here. We're not with him. Then they were like, all right, come on, give us your passport. Mm. So we gave them our passports. They printed us off new boarding passes because our other ones weren't valid anymore. Mm. A bit confused. Maybe our seats, I don't know. So then we're running to the plane. Last one's on. The whole plane seated like 
ready to take off. Yeah, they were all just, just staring at us. Staring at us walk down. Of course, we were sitting at the back of the plane. Our adrenaline is pumping. We're kind of shaking at this point. Anyway, we were like, we made it. Like, who would have thought? Yeah. We did not think we were going to make it. Anyway, so it's another like hour and a half flight. We were just chilling. Our phones were on like 15% at this point. So we were like, oh, we didn't have charges or anything. Anyway, we get to the Paris airport, find the baggage belt. Belt. Um, and then I get an email from Air France being like, unfortunately, your bags did not make it on the flight. <laughs> for most other flights we've had our like little suitcases kind of mm. like the hand baggage suitcases with us but for this flight when we checked in they said that we needed to check them in because there wasn't enough room on the flight so we literally just had our two little tote bags nothing else we didn't have our big suitcase or our little suitcase we were standing there and we were just like oh so then we had to go to the, the air friend's desk and be like fill out a form fill out forms tell them where we're staying all that kind of stuff for our bags to eventually be delivered to us um anyway then it was just kind of like we were just kind of in, in a bit of shock for the next like hour of the taxi ride home being like oh my gosh we don't have our australian adapters so we can't charge anything like everything we don't need we have yes like, which like, is like our own fault yeah but oh Georgia also said, just said this in her vlog, so go watch it. <laughs> we packed in Italy so quickly. So we didn't really think like, oh, just in case, we'll pack mm. this, we'll pack this. So we were very unprepared. Because I would have packed all the things that I thought I needed in my little suitcase. Yeah. And we would have had to check that anyway. Very true. Anyway, so basically because of how quick the turnaround was of when we landed in Paris to then taking off, our our luggage just didn't make it. It makes sense because like... We just we made it. We got there as soon as we could. Yes. And so like, it makes sense that our luggage like didn't make it go as fast as we could. The luggage was like sprinting through the airport. Yeah. We were so standing sure. in London at like out waiting for our luggage and I'm checking my air tag and I'm like, interesting, it says 20 minutes ago in Paris. Yes. I was like, maybe it's just like we're delayed, just, yeah. it's not updated, like surely it's wrong. It and then we get the email we're like, Nice. It was also you like got the email and you showed me and I was like, oh, all right. We well, guess like I guess we have to find the airport desk and you were just like, <laughs> not moving. I was like, so I'll go ask them where it is and you're like, <laughs> I was like, I think I was just like, like you're you like, <clears throat> um, <laughs> it's so slow. It's because I was trying to like write my UK phone number and the guy was asking me questions and I was like seven. Uh, <laughs> Um, like I couldn't compute. It's like when like you're trying to listen to music and talk, like you, you kind of get speech jam. You're just like, oh, like, I can't speak right now. And then our taxi was like calling. I'm waiting here. I'm like, hey, you'll be there soon. 20 minutes later. Are you coming? I'm waiting here. I'm like, we're still coming. And then we meet him and he goes, any luggage? We were like, no, oh, it's left behind. He was like, okay. So we don't have underwear. We don't have a toothbrush. To toothpaste, hairbrush, any skincare, any clothes at all, bras, socks, any charges. Is that about it? Yeah. That's kind of the update. It's one of those situations. <laughs> Sorry. It's one of those situations where you're like you hear this happening to people all the time and you're like, oh, that's so unfortunate. That's so like, bad. Wouldn't happen to me. No, it really is. Jokes on us. Jokes on us. I did. And our bags are still in Paris. We're now in London. We're checked into our new Airbnb and I love it. We are so happy to be here. We, too. we are. I feel like London feels very homely to us. We were saying that if this happened anywhere else on our trip, we would be absolutely screwed. Like if it happened in Italy. In Italy, I really around. don't know what we would do. No. So like, best case Silver scenario <laughs> to lose our luggage. So this morning we went out and had breakfast because that was the per first plan of attack. We've been like having our phones on flight mode to reserve the most energy. We just went out and bought just UK chargers because they didn't have any Australian adapters so we just got UK phone chargers so our phones are charging. Then we've just been to Boots as well. I honestly like quite enjoyed the Boots shop. Me too. It was giving Chemist Warehouse shopping bags. Oh, I think a bit more relaxing than Chemist Warehouse. Yeah. Chemist Warehouse like, is a lot. In terms of variety. Yes. I agree. <laughs> Pads, toothpaste, hairbrush. Look how cute this <laughs> shampoo conditioner is. Just because I feel like our immune systems are probably a bit low, like we just haven't been sleeping well. So I got a few things to hopefully help. I got this for us. I got us. yeah, I got them for both of us. This is a vitamin C plus zinc syrup. It says helps support the immune system. Scientifically tested. And I got us some vitamin C because I thought we could load up on vitamin C. And then I also just got myself some digest tea because my stomach is all over the place Not these digesting. days. Digesting. No. I did get some perfume. I've been looking for a new perfume for a while and I really wanted to get Cloud, which I know is like so basic in me because I feel like every girl oh, sorry. has Cloud, but it was sold out. <laughs> it was sold out, so I got thank you. Thank you, next. This is the bottle, which I think is pretty cute. I also got these little 
headbands because they were cheap and I'd been wanting them for a while. Deodorant, toothbrush, and I did get some, some snacks because I remember having these last time I was here and they're amazing. I had these heaps in Hawaii and I loved them. So I got one of those and then also a bottle of water, but I think it's outside. So that's my boots haul. I do feel a lot more, a lot better now that we've just got the basics. Anyway, that was a long winded update, but <laughs> welcome to London. <laughs> I'll give you a bit of tour about Airbnb. This is the kitchen, which you've seen. Very nice, my messy hall. Come out, this is the front door here. The bedroom is dark because we literally just woke up and left. My cute little bedroom. When you come in, this is my favorite room. It's a bit of a mess right now because we've been just a bit all over the place, but a cute little lounge room. Look at the view. Stop, that is so cute. Um, TV, we did come home last night and ordered Uber Eats straight away as soon as we got here. And we literally sat on the couch in, we were just in like, we were just shells of humans sitting on the couch eating dinner, but yeah. It feels very cozy, this apartment. I love it. I think if there's any situation where we would have been without our luggage and just all over the place, having a nice base feels really good. Anyone that you adore and love Take my heart and please don't break your love Stop, this is the best movie ever. Hot. Hot. Both of them. Both of them. Pop off king and queen. Probably my favourite movie. Oh. Without a doubt. p.m. at night. We're on our way to Waitrose. Do you get the little bobby? <laughs> yeah, I did. Yeah. Because we haven't had dinner. We had a late breakfast and, and a late, late lunch. lunch. And we don't really want, we're not really that hungry, but it's like, oh, we probably should eat something. <laughs> <laughs> and we've been sitting on the couch since 6 p.m. because we got a text and an email saying that our luggage was going to be delivered between 6 and 8 p.m. It is now 9 20 p.m. We've been waiting and it still hasn't arrived. We're making a run for it. We're making a run for it. We're just like, fingers crossed. Watch it arrive. Watch it arrive in the next 20 minutes while we're away. <laughs> just a late night waitrose run. Oh, wow. Saying that. Get your pretty guys later. Get your pretty guys later. We watched She's the Man last night. Yeah. No, night before. Night before. Last night was parent trip. We've watched some solid movies while being here. Get your pretty guys later. <laughs> See you for your true love, which is ugly. We're done. <laughs> Game of Bash Light. Our luggage just arrived. Did just have to carry it up five, four flights of stairs. And I'm still puffy. Heart is beating on my chest. <laughs> <laughs> Literally. How happy are you? I don't even know what to do with myself. I know. I'm like, oh, I've got it now. Like, now what? <laughs> We've had to live without it for so long. I can't believe it. The guy who delivered it was like, how long have you been waiting? And we're like, oh, what was it? Two days or three days? I two. And he was like, oh, you're lucky. Someone that I just dropped luggage off was like three weeks. Is that what he said? Yeah. Three weeks. That's <sighs> cooked anyway so we have all of our luggage i really don't know what to do with myself oh, oh that's funny yeah it kind of is hey sorry <laughs> i'm so sorry i'm keeping that in no i'm not <laughs> this is so strange just having all of our stuff again i can do my invisalign next skin wow you're about 11 Speaks to me. Do you know what's crazy? The last time we packed them, like, we were wearing bikinis. So, so strange. Black. What am I gonna wear? There's really so many options. Our final destination. Thank you for traveling with us. Please remember to take all your belongings with you when you leave the train. Change here for other national rail services. Should I take my jacket off? For these? Yeah, go on then. <laughs> no, that oh. whole shot just being me. This is so cute. I want to try the wind. 
game change. Should we come back fun. tomorrow? Get out, I want my solo shot. <laughs> Aw, they're so cute. cute. We just went into the cutest store and bought Christmas decorations. Because of course, it's now September. It was cool. <laughs> Bert's. Bert's home store. He's even playing Christmassy music. So fun. <laughs> I loved it in there. We've come to Wagamama's for dinner. This is our third time having it on the trip. <laughs> I've gone for the chicken teriyaki don uri. Classic chicken katsu. Classic. That is delicious. We are currently in Brighton, as you would have seen a little bit from yesterday, staying in the cutest hotel I've ever stayed at in my entire life. It's just so, it's got so much character, which I feel like we were saying last night, actually. This whole city? I think it's a city, do you know? Oh. I'm the wrong person to ask. <laughs> this whole place is just so filled with so much character. I'm obsessed with it. We're actually sadly just about to check out, which I'm very sad about because I could spend so much longer here. But I wanted to give you a quick tour of the room that we stayed in. This is the view of the sea. I keep calling it the wrong thing. I360 is right there. Look at all of the houses. I'm obsessed. Bit messy now as we are packing up, but how cute. Down to the little details like this little radio, this bath, which I didn't get a chance to have a bath and I'm really mad at myself. <laughs> it's just an excuse to come back there. That's what I'm telling myself. And then the little barn door, bathroom. Again, everything is just so cute. We just went down and had breakfast and the little restaurant cafe down there is even so cute and cozy and you just feel so... <sighs> I don't know, cozy here is the best way to describe it. The weather's a bit on and off today. So we're trying to like plan our day according to the weather because obviously we don't want to be like walking around heaps if it's pouring rain. Yesterday was beautiful weather. Today we woke up and it was pouring rain and we're like, oh no. But it's kind of like going in and out. The sun comes and then leaves. It's not raining currently. So I feel like as long as it's overcast, then at least we can still walk around. But I don't want to leave. It's in such a good location too. Last night we went out for dinner at Wagamama's, which you saw. But we walked down to the beach and then kind of followed the beach along. And then we can see the I-360. Oh, it's going up. Can you see that? We just kind of followed it along the beach and then turned right because it's like right in from it. I love it. This is the outfit of the day. We haven't actually been outside, but I'm assuming just from yesterday, because it was kind of chilly yesterday, even though it was sunny. So I'm assuming today will be even chillier out there. I've got a long sleeve on from Princess Polly. Jeans are weekday. I'm obsessed with them. Like Connie's. And then this huge coat jacket thing from ASOS that I bought ages ago. And it's been my saving graces trip. It's so cozy and I feel so warm in it. It's the wind that's going to get me today. So I feel like if I'm wearing this, I'll be prepared. How are you feeling? I'm sad. <laughs> oh my God. I know. It's so cute. Oh, we never wore our robe. I know. <sighs> we have to come back. Twist my arm. <laughs> Just doing the last minute packing. Oh, oh my gosh, I want to show you. I think I vlogged as we were coming out of this store, but we found the cutest store. We got Christmas decorations. I thought I'd show you because they're just the cutest things ever. These little felt mushrooms. <laughs> Like, that's going to look so cute on my tree. Like, it's so random. It's so cute. This is so cute. A little letter to Santa. And this is the most random one, which is probably actually my favorite, because I think it has the most character. <laughs> a little carrot with a Christmas hat on and a scarf. Stop. Why is that so cute? He looks so happy. So happy to be there. I'm so excited for Christmas now. Do you have the photo bit photos? Oh my gosh, I do. I yeah, know. I'm just checking. Look. How vintage of us. This one was, what did she say? It was like, it's so old. Over 100 years yeah. old. The color one too. I think we're gonna go back today. Yeah. Get some more, cause they're just so much fun. And it's pretty cheap and for I feel like, like the experience. And I like this in Australia. No, it's really isn't. Cool. Oh, not packing again. <laughs> it hasn't rained for a while, so I think. Fingers crossed we're okay. We always run into stores if it starts raining. Goodbye room. The hallways, like it's just so, it's like dark and moody. Sound effects are a bit worrying. The sound effects are a bit scary. This is where we worked last night. Look at all the rooms. Are we ready? Yeah, absolutely. I'll put a little tag. We've oh come God. to the Brighton Pier. We've just walked into the arcade, obviously. <gasps> oh! 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 I know it's going down! Yeah. You're just one of this and obviously had to give it a go. Is that 50 pounds gone? <laughs> Surely you try again. No. <laughs> so much money. But look how cute they are. Stop. <gasps> I hate it here. I'm taking my money and I'm going. <laughs> no. 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 That's a bit of a workout. Oh, we've come to another photo booth and this is the one. <laughs> This is the one just outside of the pier. Look at that first one. No. <laughs> we just were not prepared. We were like, oh, I wonder when it's going to go. <laughs> <laughs> Our pure shock. 
<laughs> oh, it's kind of cute though. <gasps> okay, it is cute. Let's go again. Yeah. I think I was constipated in that last one. I just want to keep doing this. I don't know. It's all right. Oh, this is cute. It felt so much longer than it was to watch it. Yeah. We just went. <laughs> we just went on this. I want it to go so people can see. Yeah. It just like spun and then spun around upside down. <laughs> I actually think it was like, I don't know how long it went for. It felt long when you were doing yeah. it. We just. <coughs> oh, there's so much air in my throat. We were just laughing for a solid. The uh, whole ride. At least three minutes straight. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> my stomach hurts. Oh my gosh, that was the funniest thing. And I just had tears streaming <laughs> in my face. <laughs> and my hair was getting stuck to my tears. Oh, that was so much fun. Oh. But also the only ones on the ride. <laughs> Which I think made it even better. Oh, that was so funny. Oh, it feels like I'm in high school again. Literally. Nina. I haven't been on a roll, like not a roller coaster, like a ride like that. It's like a carnival ride. A carnival ride, probably since school. Yeah, exactly. Or just after yeah. school. Stop and we were like, again! Yeah. Stop, this is so much fun. Oh, we love it here. We're currently sitting on Brighton Beach, eating gelato. Yeah. This is the best gelato I've ever had. I'm shocked. I got dark chocolate vegan Oreo, carrot cake, and white cookies and cream. Oreo. White chocolate Oreo. Jam donut. Yeah. White chocolate Oreo. You know the milky bar, like white chocolate with like Oreo crumbs yes. and chocolate? Yeah. That melted in your mouth literally tastes like a gelato. <laughs> yeah. I get it. And the jam donut. Literally. Literally tastes like a jam donut. Like, I don't know. How? Well, they said, the girl serving us said that they blend the vegan donuts into the ice cream. And it's like, I know it sounds stupid because ice cream flavors are meant to taste like the flavors they mm, say. Mm. But I have never tasted ice cream that's so accurate to the name. Also, this carrot cake literally tastes like carrot cake, but just in ice cream form. It's mind blowing. Like it's playing with my head. Yeah. I was like, is there any chance you can do three flavors, but in like a two scoop form? Because I just couldn't decide. And she was like, all right. It's like, thank you. That carrot cake is literally mind blowing. Oh my gosh, I don't know what, which one's my favorite. And the jam donut one's vegan. Mm, like Excuse how? me? Because I don't have vegan things because they taste gross. This <laughs> <laughs> is saying a lot. Mm, so Not up sitting in Brighton. I know. The pier is right there. Pebble Beach is just so interesting. So interesting, but it's kind of ideal because you don't get sandy. Mm. Look at us. Oh. 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 No, I'm scared of the seagulls. <laughs> They're huge. huge. Like, they're like three times the size of Australian we seagulls. We saw one yesterday <laughs> and it literally looked like chicken size, but it was a seagull. I literally feel like we're in Angus Long's book. Oh, I just got a chunk of borrow. <laughs> I don't know. I don't what know. What flavor are you saving? I honestly am like doing it equally. Really? Mm -hmm. Which is very uncommon for me. For me? <laughs> <laughs> I'm a big chocolate girl. <laughs> oh, the birds are scary. I like the sound of them though. Like it's quite Yeah, until you see their wings and they're like the size of my leg. <laughs> <laughs> this is so wholesome. This has been the most wholesome two days. It really like, has. Wholesome is just the perfect word to use. Cool. We've done photo booths, we've done arcades, we've done more photo booths. Carnival ride, ice cream, burgers. Walked around the cutest, the cutest little stores. stores. Oh. And the homewares? If I had room in my suitcase. Yeah, it would be coming with me. Yeah. Oh my gosh, this cake! <laughs> We're absolutely too full to be eating ice cream <laughs> from lunch. But like one in Brighton. Exactly. We can't not. I love it here. Me too. Should we move here? Hmm? <laughs> like I wouldn't live outside of Australia, I don't think. Mm. But if I were to, this would probably be like mm. top of my list. It feels quite homely. Mm. I just feel so comfortable here. Yeah. Which is weird. Yeah. For a place you've never been in your life. Yeah. Huge Oreo chunk. Mm. Have you seen my cat Angus? <laughs> <laughs> you gave me a fright. <laughs> I just actually bought myself a bag and the girl now came up to us and she was like, are you Australian? And we were like, yeah. She was like, oh my gosh, my best friend's Australian. We had a great conversation. She was so nice. When people think it's like crazy that we're Australian, I'm like, like I think it's crazy that you're not. <laughs> <laughs> Keep talking to me. I love your accent so much. Literally. I'm freezing. <laughs> <laughs> my hands, oh I can't my feel them. <laughs> Look at us. <laughs> Who would have thought? Two bitches in Brighton. <laughs> I'm keeping that in. Yeah, you can. It's so weird seeing rocks around me at the beach. <laughs> Don't you reckon? Yeah. We've come on the I 360 and it's all very exciting. We're just currently sitting at the bottom. We're literally doing all the tourist things today. Oh, we're moving. <laughs> Coming out of the ground. This is, oh my gosh, look up. <laughs> Best views in Brighton, apparently. Kind of feels wrong walking around. Like, it's just like we're not allowed. We've reached the top. 
We spontaneously booked wicked tickets today for tonight, <laughs> and now we're here. It's like fun. We've got phenomenal seats. Look at that. Are you excited? I'm so excited. Something has changed within me. You can hear the band. I'm gonna like really struggle and not sing. Me too. I know this soundtrack too well. Does fire come out of it? I'm not the not guy the in the back. <laughs> Does fire come out of it? I don't know. Wicked. Awesome. Couldn't be so calm for once instead of flying off the handle. <laughs> Who did you, did you call it? <laughs> What did I say? <laughs> Just say it again. No. <laughs> Alphabet. Yeah, you, yeah, that's what that's what it is. So I don't know what I said. <laughs> it didn't sound like it. Sound like you had an S in it. Like how? Like Elsa does. Oh. <laughs> We're very excited. Talk to you later. Every day is very special in this building because we get to do this and share it with you. But today is particularly special because it is our 16th birthday. Red, like ruby. We, we did get the right ones, right? Should we ask her? Does it say anywhere? Or we could Google. Yeah, do you Well, no, because you just put the necklaces in the box. Google the Gemini constellation. Oh, that is so hard to tell. Oh. Maybe if I look up Look at the cancer. <laughs> cancer. Because... <laughs> <laughs> I can't keep it up. <laughs> no, okay, that looks like yours, right? What's your birthstone? They're twins. It's like Gemini, two different. Your birthstone colour. Oh. <laughs> Twins. <laughs> what is that sign? I don't know. Oh. You don't know what the birthstone for June is? Oh. What's yours? Red. Ruby. Ruby. <laughs> What's That's going on? <laughs> What's Moonstone? Cancer. <laughs> Stop saying <laughs> Just, What stars on you? Oh, the terminal can <laughs> the terminal illness one. Yeah. <laughs> and we're a crab. And our number's 69. <laughs> I'm just looking off into the distance. I have no reception. So cute, we got little matching. Good morning. It is now Friday morning. If you watched the first week we were in London vlog, you might recognize this room. We are back at the village down in Birmingham for Gymshark. We got a taxi down yesterday morning for a photo shoot all afternoon. Unfortunately, couldn't film it as of yet, but it was, again, just so crazy surreal and something that, like, when I was doing it, I was just, like, looking around in shock and in awe and just, like, why? How is this my life? Me, five years ago, even, like, three years ago, could not believe all of these amazing opportunities that are happening. It was so much fun. This morning, set my alarm for 7.30. I've just gotten up, gotten ready. We had our makeup done yesterday, and I really tried to recreate what the makeup artist did, but I feel like I haven't done a good job. Also, my hair is still a bit curled from yesterday as well, so I've decided to just run with that. I've just packed up, because so we've got to head down to the lobby. We're going to head over to Gymshark now and have brekkie, and then I think we've got a couple meetings over there and then another shoot for the rest of the day and then back to London. So that's the plan for the day. I'm excited, a little bit tired right now. I need to wake up a bit more.
she's looking right at me. Wow, this is so creepy. I'm spooked looking in her eyes. This shit is down my side. Wait, I want to film her eyes. <laughs> Look at, she's looking right at my camera. It took us like two hours to, well, we were kind of like cleaning, packing up, getting rid of stuff that we didn't want anymore because I was trying to reduce my bag as much as possible. Our flight's at, I think it's like 10.30 or 10 p.m. So we've packed up, we've freshened up. We're heading out to, where are we heading out to? Southwark. Southwark? South like Tower Bridge. ARK. Southwark, London Bridge area, right? Yes. Yeah. And we're going to meet up with Louise. We're going to get breakfast or a brunch kind of thing. And I'm very excited. We also only just realized that it's London Marathon Day today. Yes. So everyone's been saying that London is going to be crazy today. Oops. Whoopsies. But you know what? Go out with a bang. <laughs> <laughs> when in London. This is my outfit for the day. We're just waiting for our tube now. And that's really all. Oh, look how white it is. what you missed on Glee. And that's what you missed on Glee. Love the fit. Oh, thanks. Primark jeans. Primark jeans go off. Oh. 